Good morning, folks. Today we've got the return of solar eruptive activity and solar flares. We've also got a look at a well-covered topic of solar-driven ozone impact, but from a slightly new perspective. We are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find continued turning of several sunspot groups, minor plasma filaments, and minor coronal hole structures as well we can save for sure. The coronal holes this cycle have been nowhere near as big as last cycle thus far. Just for reference, here are some of the big coronal holes from the last cycle. If you've been a daily watcher here the last couple years, you know it has been quite some time since we've seen one of this size. Moments earlier, you may have caught the top eruptive moment of the day here. An M-class solar flare occurred as the base point of an incoming plasma filament releases and snapped out a violent CME. This one is thankfully not aimed at the Earth. So folks, we've covered quite a bit about the solar energetic particle events blasted from CMEs curving through space towards the Earth along the interplanetary magnetic field connecting the Earth and Sun, a well-known and often covered ozone depletion event. And while several papers have covered the geomagnetic storm aspect of that particle precipitation from a theoretical or modeling standpoint, it's harder to measure an observational reality until now. Excellent analysis here showed an average of 21% polar ozone loss during the substorm phase of the geomagnetic event. Obviously, the bigger the storm, the more the depletion. And by the way, this is the same energetic particle interaction that was discovered to control the global electric circuit years ago, which of course then impacts the surface pressure, clouds, and more. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about the Sun-Earth interactions with the links in the description box below the video. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 7 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.